what's the challenge or the biggest challenge when you're facing Alvin Kamara? Uh, he, he can do it all. He can he can catch out the backfield. He, he can run. Um, breaks a lot of tackles. Elusive. Can line up anywhere. Um, he's, he's the real deal. How much does it help when that defensive line's doing what they've been doing, particularly these last few weeks? Uh, it's a tremendous help. Uh, those guys have been uh, doing a great job and uh, looking forward to for it to continue and um, it's making my, my life a lot easier playing behind those guys. So uh, looking forward to them. having a great time doing it. Yeah, for personally you, I mean, I know it feels good to be back kind of in the groove of things. Um, when you've kind of sat back and looked at everything that's going on, I mean, how much progression have you seen in this defense um, you know, from the outside looking in? Uh, just taking day by day, uh, everybody's improving and, and continuously getting better each and every week as we uh, go through games and, and practices and uh, we're going to keep elevating and, and keep on uh, trying to better ourselves to be the best that we can be. Along those lines, you know, given your record and where you are in the conference, you know, people across the country are now starting to talk about this team. Is that is it hard for you guys to stay focused week to week? With, because the more you win, the more attention you guys are going to get. Uh, yeah, I bet attention's coming in. Um, I don't watch too much TV, too busy watching film, so I don't know about that much. But uh, just looking forward to continuing to win and, and go out here, compete with these guys, and, and having a whole lot of fun, and look forward to returning home against the Saints this week, and uh, looking to make a lot of plays. You, uh, what's the, what was your patience level like as you're kind of waiting your turn to come back? I know Chris and Starch got designated for a turn. What, what's it like when you're on that, and how did you kind of handle it so you could be ready when you were cleared? Well, when you're injured, you know, the time that you know, you're injured, you can't, you can't speed up uh, much, but uh, so just uh, sitting back, learning, um, watching the guys ball out, do their things, uh, had, a, had a lot of good wins, and um, I'm happy to be back uh, and healthy for, to help the team win, and I'm looking forward to this week. Jay, on that, you mentioned that focusing and film study and such. How much of that uh, attention to detail kind of flows from Vrabel and, you know, reminders to just do your job and be ready each week and tune out the outside noise? Uh, just, the, it's all about the uh, little details, uh, the small things uh, help you do the big things. So getting lined up right, making sure we're all on the uh, same page, communicating with our coverages and and uh, this and that. So just uh, just making sure we're, uh, we're moving together as a unit. What's, what's kind of the confidence level, maybe the, the swagger level of the defense now with the way you guys are playing? Uh, I think it's been high for a while, and uh, we just got to go out there and continue to have fun. and. And uh, you know, guys are guys are playing uh, really good ball, and um, we're gonna continue to get better, and look forward to show our improvement uh, this week. I know you you enjoy playing next to Rashawn, but what's it like playing next to David? Because he seems like he's uh, he's always around the ball making plays. No doubt, uh, enjoy playing next to both of those guys, uh, both playmakers, both uh, explosives and, and, and strong dudes. And uh, this past uh, this past Sunday, uh, David got a pick and. Was around the ball as he, as he always is. So, um, just as a unit, continue to uh, push each other and, and to grow together and and uh, continue to make plays.